Hi, I'm Sean Gannon. This is Minute Math. Today, we're going to learn about two-step inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 3 times r minus 4, which is greater than or equal to 0. Okay? Well, I need to get rid of that negative 3, all right? So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And in doing so, I cancel out the negative 3s over here. I'm left with r minus 4 on the left. And 0 divided by negative 3 is just 0. But I still divide it by negative over the inequality. So that inequality needs to flip from a greater than sign to a less than sign. So it's a le or a greater than or equal to sign to a less than or equal to sign. Don't forget the equal to part. I then have to add a 4 to both, part, uh, both sides here. And in doing so, I have r is less than or equal to a positive 4. And that's looking great. So now I need to make, uh, I need to graph it. So let's go, we put 4, let's right in the middle. Why not? Let's go at 2s. 6, 8, 10, 2, 0, negative 2. Okay? We said r is less than or equal to 4, so we have a closed circle at 4 because it can equal 4, and it's less than, so I put my arrow to the left, and there we go. I have my graph that matches my inequality of r is less than or equal to 4. So let's recap. We had negative 3 times parentheses, r minus 4, and parentheses, and that's greater than or equal to 0. I divided by negative 3 to both sides, giving me r minus 4 here on the left, and 0 divided by negative 3 being 0 on the right. But most, probably the most important part, a common mistake that I see, is you need to flip that inequality. Because when it's a greater than, uh, from greater than sign or greater than equal to sign to a less than or equal to sign. Because when you divide by a negative over the inequality, you need to flip that sign. Now I'm left with r minus 4 is less than or equal to 0. I add a 4 to both sides, giving me r by itself. So r is less than or equal to positive 4. And then from there... I have to graph it. So it's a closed circle at 4 because it's equal to, my arrow goes to the left because it's less than, and so this graph here represents all possible values in our final answer uh, for r, where r is less than or equal to 4. 